A Minnesota community is in mourning tonight after two police officers were killed by a man barricaded inside a home. Investigators say the suspect then turned the gun on a paramedic who came to help. CBS 2's Jonah Kaplan has the latest from Burnsville. Any ambulance to stand by on the address? And I need two additional ambulances. The call for paramedics came shortly after five this morning. Minutes later, dispatch ordered everyone to stay back. Medics, please back off. Medics, back off and turn off lights. First responders rushed to the home in Burnsville, a suburb about 20 minutes outside Minneapolis. They were very tense. They say an armed man was barricaded inside along with his family. As police arrived, the man opened fire. Video shows at least one SWAT vehicle with its windshield nearly shattered by bullets. Several officers uh, did uh, return fire. I will note that this individual had uh, several guns and large amounts of ammunition. Two 27-year-old officers from the Burnsville Police Department were struck and killed. A paramedic who rushed to the aid of one of them also died in the shootout. They know they have to give up their life sometime, and they do it anyways. State investigators confirmed the suspect died in the confrontation with police. However, family members in the home made it out safely. Seven children inside of the home uh, from you know ages 15 to 2. It's a very uh, troubling situation, and we're uh, glad they aren't uh, hurt as part of this. There was a third officer hit and struck by gunfire. He was rushed to the hospital too, but is expected to make a full recovery. Jonah Kaplan, CBS News, Burnsville, Minnesota.